I often get asked about quantizing audio, especially working with drums. You want your drums to be tight and right on the beat. Well, thanks to the intelligence built into the new Melodyne, you can actually take group tracks, multiple tracks of audio, and quantize them to the same grid at the same time. Again, this audio was recorded to a meter around 128, but you can see the drummer was a little loose, which is nice if that's the effect he was looking for. But if you wanted to tighten things up a little bit, let's say bring this up to 130, for example, how would we be able to conform all of these tracks to the new tempo grid? I'll show you how to do that. Let's select one of these tracks. Let's take our snare drum. And why don't we bring them all in? I'm going to select focus on every one of them and bring them in, into my editing window here. And here we've got the slide viewer. We can actually see the audio along our timeline. But if you double click on that, it'll literally auto fit your view for you. So there's a little handy tip already. Now, what I'm going to do here is come up to my tempo workspace at the top. And from the drop down, I'm going to choose edit tempo. What this allows me to do is see the tempo. Here in this section is my, my meter. You can see it's somewhere, somewhere above 120 right now. As it changes to the magnifying glass, I'm going to zoom in. See how you can do that? You can drag, drag it to get a better view of where the tempo is. See, about 128, just below 130, and that's where we are right here. And you see that the line often may have some peaks and valleys. That can often signify feeling, which is great, or in this case, just a general straight rock tempo beat. Now, what I'm going to do is choose, um, I'm going to select all the audio. I'm just doing a command A there, but you can just select all the audio by dragging a loop around it, because uh, you can do this to sections of audio if you wanted, or the entire track. And if you don't do anything selecting any of the audio, it'll affect the entire track. I'll show you what I mean. By right-clicking in the Edit Tempo Workspace, I'm going to choose Make Tempo Constant. And just like that, Melodyne quantized everything. And if you look up in the Tempo area, it now has an equal sign, and it's been quantized exactly to 128.99. Let's take a listen. Here, I'm going to activate my, my metronome in the tempo area and click down to lower the volume or up to raise it. Let's hear it to the meter. Great. Now that we did that, I can close the edit tempo workspace by simply selecting the, the drop down box there, and I'm not highlighting it anymore. Now, to make this tempo whatever we want, I simply can select in that box and drag up or down. Let's go up to uh, 130. 129.99. And let go. And did you see how the audio conformed? Or we can double click in that workspace and type 130. And there it is. Let's take a listen now. We can even lower it down. I'll select something like 100 BPM. There we go. I'll double click in the slide viewer to display our audio in the window. And here we go at 100 BPM now. Why don't we choose something in between 115? And there we go again. It's that simple. So keep in mind, though, I have auto stretch enabled here. When you're working with drum loops now, so like some of the ones I have here, let's drag one in. I'll bring it to beat one bar one. And it's auto stretched and it's tempo mapped to 115 BPM, exactly to what we set the live drum tracks to. And that's because I have auto stretch enabled. Let's take a listen. I don't know what it'll sound like, but let's check it out. There. 
That's how you take audio and quantize it to a specific tempo using the Edit Tempo drop-down box here in Melodyne 4. And you can do this with one single track or groups of track at the same time. Now you know. I'm Carlo, and thanks for watching.